Hello YouTubers. So, this is what it is for now. I put some rocks in my baskets. And uh, this says last run, uh, maybe 10 hours ago, and it's keeping the water. So, that's not a problem, and it should be working fine. After that, so I got uh, 8 baskets, rocks in them. I have cut down a hole here. Put some epoxy, as you can see, to make sure that the cord was going out. Uh, that's the cord for my pump inside. I might also add a bubbler there if uh, the needs is to be added. Uh, I had my cord going on the need here before under the lid and it didn't work great. Uh, the water was dripping all over and uh, it was not uh, sealed tight. So I decided to just drill a hole on top and uh, let the rope go through there and uh, that was it for that problem. So it's no longer dripping uh, inside. If I open it from here, there you go. Sorry for the shaky camera. That's what it is. And uh, there is uh, plenty of water there. I didn't start it up this morning. Last night I started up. But uh, that's what it is. There is still some water in there, dripping from the basket and from the top. fine as far as I know I uh, made it work started up and uh, for two hours it was working and it was working fine uh, it's not dripping from underneath either I sealed a small hole that was the injection points so yeah that's my installation for uh, my lamp uh, which I've tested on uh, one of those here so basically those are uh, timers, on off timers. Uh, those are going to work every 30 minutes for the pump. 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. That should be more than enough for what I've seen in previous videos from other people and on the internet. This is how I'm going to start. So uh, basically they are pellets like these. And uh, you just put water on them and they grow up as this. And after that you just uh, pierce a hole there in the middle, put your seed in. So basically I got a cucumber here, cucumber there, a pea here, pea there. So that's what I'm going to grow. Some peas and uh, cucumber. I'm going to put them uh, probably on a little light there because it's generating some heat. Even if it's lead, uh, it's still generating some heat. And I got the cover that was coming with it. Pretty cheap, we got that at Walmart. And uh, that's about it. That's what I'm going to do with this. After that, uh, I'm going to probably put it there. The lamp in front, and I'm going to make my seed grow. Uh, I heard cucumber should be about five days to grow. And... Um, I don't know, I didn't check on the internet how much time uh, they take to grow, but I guess it's about uh, one or two weeks, I would say. Worst case scenario. Once they're going to be done, I'm going to be uh, removing them from there, so I'm probably going to cut it with a knife and uh, put it on the water so I don't uh, hurt the roots. And bring them back in there. Make a little space there and add the rocks as I go, and after that, start the sprinklers it to go but I'm still waiting for my uh, pH tester and uh, my uh, ppm meter so those are things I'm still uh, waiting for for the mail and that's about it and those are the rock I bought at Walmart too bag of rock can't get that outside but I guess uh, Canadian and I'm uh, on winter time uh, I don't want to shovel them out. <laughs> well, that's for that's it for now. I'm gonna place this one right over there, and uh, that will be it for now. Uh, in the next uh, five days, I'm probably gonna take pictures as it grows. All right. Thanks for watching. All right. So this is the bucket I was using. 
don't know what I did there. There was an entry which I sealed with epoxy. Uh, I'm gonna show you here a little bit better there. Those are the injection points which I sealed with epoxy too. So there was four of them. Then what I did, I put a line of silicone all the way around because there was still some drops that were going through there that I didn't like so it's uh, fairly flexible once there's going to be the lid on there's going to be a pressure and it won't go off I'm thinking about because it's sticky a bit so I'm afraid when I, uh, once I have the lid on it will actually stick stick to it and after that it's going to go off the lid off the lid and after that I have to replace it and all that and so what I'm going to do there I think I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil all around the seal just to make sure that it won't stick to the lid so if I have to take it off then this won't come with the lid and I have to replace it and uh, all the stuff that's coming with it so this is where I'm at so this one is finished the aeroponic system is working properly uh, the only thing left to do is to make sure that everything is working fine on that end with the plant growing that's about it there I just need to make uh, take the plant and put it in the system we'll do that probably in a few next few days and see how it goes